Hello, elementary school students across America and on United States military bases around the world. Time for Michael T. Mondak Reads for this Friday. I am the eponymous Michael T. Mondak, back with you again virtually to read one picture book to you, your parents, and your teachers. But I can't do it without a preview as to what I'll be reading. Here's that preview for this Friday. It's time to have some fun with a lesson on cause and effect. Because one thing leads to another if you give a moose a muffin. Wait a minute. Did I just say if you give a moose a muffin? Yes, I did. Because that's the title of this book. Storyline written by Lara Numeroff and illustrated by Miss Felicia Bond. Let's get started. If you give a moose a muffin... He'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another. And another. And another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. And when he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. And so he'll ask for some old socks. And he'll make sock puppies. And when they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. And then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out, so he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and he'll shout, "Boo!" It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. And when he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. And he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, guess what? He'll want a muffin to go with it. And that, boys and girls, ends the story. Enjoy the weekend. See you back here Monday at the same time on the same channel. Ta-ta for now.